Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to you as well. Today, I'm going to a concert for the first time post Panorama, and I'm so excited. If you're new here, hi, my name is Francesca. I make vlogs, hauls, routines, and everything in between. So if you like any of that, go ahead and hit subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to a Halsey concert, and it is the first concert that I'm going to post Panorama. Super excited, super jazzed to, to be going, but first I have to get ready. So as you can probably tell, my hair is a mess. If you watched my last video, you know that I had to take out my faux locks. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is kind of blow the hair out a little bit more and then put it in space buns. Um, yeah, so we're about to start getting ready. I know I'm going to wear black, and I don't know why I want to wear black, but I don't know if I want to wear my short black dress that I wore a couple of vlogs back with some like nets and my boots or if I want to wear my really long black dress that I got in my Shein haul with my combat boots as well we're figuring it out we're gonna we're gonna go do it so if it's not in here I'm so sorry I'm going to use this heat protectant it's pre iron spray but I also use it whenever I'm using a blow dryer basically it's heat protectant this doesn't have any parabens alcohol or anything in it as well it's L'Oreal El Vive yeah so we're gonna spray the hair hair parted as close to the middle as it's gonna get and I'm doing my hair first because I'm going to put a headscarf on and kind of let it set while I'm working on everything else this is always the hard part because I can't see the back of my head too well or at all ever. Okay, so I have my headscarf on. I pretty much look like a 1990s rapper, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's not given what it's supposed to be given yet, but you'll see. So now I'm going to work on my makeup. So because I recently got my nose pierced, I can't really put on foundation. I can, but I'd have to like avoid my nose. And right now how my face is set up, I don't think that that's the best idea for me to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eye makeup and nothing else. Um, so yeah. So my face is washed. The first thing I'm going to do is just fill in my brows a little bit. So I still use the Instant Lift Pencil by e.l.f. And I guess this is like the darker brown color, but it's whatever color this is. So basically, all I do is take the little crayon here and... I try to go with the grain of my hair and fill in pretty much where my hair actually is. Towards the end, I do extend it a little bit like so. And then on this end, this particular eyebrow is a little bit shorter than the other one. So I do kind of extend it on both ends, kind of still going with the grain of the hair. And my eyebrows are like two different shapes. I have really pretty but like thin eyebrows, but they are two different shapes. So then I take the brush and I pretty much arch my eyebrows like at a peak. So that's all I really do for my eyebrows. For my eyes, we are doing the whole shebang. We're doing eyeshadow, we're doing eyeliner, we're doing mascara because a girl don't wear uh, lashes, even though I probably need them. I have CeraVe eye cream on underneath here. Um, 
I didn't show you guys that, but I put on eye repair almost like kind of as my primer. Because I do want to make sure that I'm repairing my eyes as well as uh, beating them. If you guys hear a really loud fan, I'm sorry. My air conditioning is on. So I'm just putting concealer on underneath my eyes. My eye bags have definitely improved a lot since I've been using that eye cream. But I've also been getting slightly less sleep these last couple of days so you know I'm gonna now also put concealer on my lids and I'm just gonna blend that in with the booty blender now that we are concealed and primed I am going to start working on eyeshadows now i don't have a whole lot of eyeshadow palettes so i want to go with my rubies i need to get more eyeshadow palettes i used to not wear eyeshadow but now i'm kind of obsessed with it so i'm gonna use that primarily but i'm also going to come in and use this kind of like blackish color in my color spell palette so I'm going to first come in with the color Fireball, which is this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put Fireball on that outer line. Just ever so slightly in that crease. And a little above my crease as well. You guys are probably like way too up close and personal. <laughs> Just a little bit of the crease. Okay. And now I'm going to come in with the color Auburn, which is this color here in the corner. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more brown tinted. And I'm going to put it slightly on my lids, but I'm going to leave a little bit of space there. This auburn color is like not too far from my natural skin tone so it is kind of like a weird neutral also I have very wrinkly eyelids so like building on my building on my eyes are like it's difficult and I'm also like again not a beauty guru so I don't know what I'm doing so right now we have the ruby and the auburn on. I'm going to come in with that pseudo black color that I showed you guys earlier. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put that at the, the bottom of this little action number here. And I don't have a whole lot on the brush so that it's kind of the same color as the the auburn but that bottom line it pretty much makes it a little bit darker than it lastly there's like a kind of goldish white color i'm gonna take a little bit of that and apply it right in those corners so it kind of gives that like golden touch almost for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Mascara. I'm going to use my Lash Extending uh, Elf. I was I can't find the Katy Perry Eyeliner Mascara that I like, so I'm going to use the Elf and then, of course, Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. Boop. I'm going to put my eyeliner on off camera because I, I literally just can't. <laughs> 
so here's my finished makeup look right here's the hard part i want to use my urban decay setting spray to set this but i can't get it on my nose so <laughs> i'm about to do that with it's all over my face and just understand what's happening okay all right <laughs> so i'm gonna show you guys the two outfits that i'm debating over i just took daft for a walk and we'll talk about it right outfit number one Outfit number one is that short black dress that I wore not too long ago. It just kind of looks like this. Tank top dress, some fishnet, and my chunky boots. Outfit number two is this longer bodycon black dress with my boots. I'm kind of leaning towards this just because if it gets colder, this will warm me up a little bit more. Also, I've literally... I think I wore fishnets like once in college and my experience with them was very uncomfortable. I love the aesthetic of them but like the feeling of something on my skin like these are one size fits all too. So they're made for everyone from a 0 to a 24 so when you put it so when you put it on it just expands so it's like the netting is stretching across your skin. It doesn't hurt but it's just a weird uncomfortable feeling. There is straight chaos behind me. But I went ahead and went with a longer dress and my boots. I like the way this looks a lot. This is cute. I I really love this. I support this. I wish I still had my fanny packs. Please excuse the whole mess and a half behind me. I don't know if I want to wear these sunglasses or these ones, but I went ahead and put on the rest of my accessories. Got gold hoops on, of course my breathe necklace because what else do I wear? Deodorant and some lotion. And it's a vibe, like look, look, look. Like, this is just so cute together. I want more of these dresses. I need more of these dresses, like. So I just finished taking a few selfies. Um, yeah, you can see my makeup so much better now in the light. It's, it's cute. We support it. My hair is a little... We're praying for my hair. But, um, yeah. I don't know. This is cute. I support it. I love it so much. I'm going to take my Olea Simone tote bag, but I'm also about to try and see if I can find my um, fanny pack. Like, one of them. I had, like, three, and I think I got rid of them, so I'd stop wearing them because I purchased a purse. And I was like, if you're going to wear a purse, wear a purse. Give up the fanny pack. So let me see if I can find them. The literal fact that I cannot find a fanny pack right now, like, I look through everything, like, that was my whole identity for, like, two years. <laughs> oh, God. So I think I'm just gonna, like, take my card and my ID out and, you know, put it in the chest and then just put everything else away. I am waiting for my friend to get here so that we can get going to Charlotte and yeah we're gonna be getting going staring out the window reaching for a north star waiting just to wake up
Listen to the limbo Stuck